Hello class, in this video I'm going to discuss or give you the steps or the procedures on how to compute the weighted mean. So we will or I will discuss on how to compute the weighted mean using the Microsoft Excel or the calculator. So before we will start, uh, this is an example of the table 3, the standard food safety practices on Best Western Plus, the IB World Resort in Panglao in terms of food preparation. So we will check first the questionnaire of this study. So this is the questionnaire of the study. They have this part one the profile of the respondents and under the part two food safety practices there are uh, one two three four okay. there are four uh, sub parts we have food storage we have food preparation food quality and personal hygiene so we will just make an example for food storage oh no food pre preparation okay this one food preparation So now we will discuss on how to get this 4.88. Again, under the food preparation, there are 10 items. Okay? There are 10 items. There are 10 items under the food preparation. So how to compute the 4.88? And also, before we will start, there are 26 um, total respondents. Again, 26 total respondents. Okay, so, in the previous video, I discussed about the how to compute the um, percentage. But I give the example of 30 total respondents. But for this video, it is only 26 total respondents. So we will go to in an Excel file. So for example, again, there are 20, 26 total respondents. And item number one, we have 10 items. Okay. Item number one to item number 10. Item number one to item number 10. Okay. And then every respondent will respond on his or her answer okay so in this example they have this five range of their ratings okay so we have highly practice practice moderately practice less practice and not practice at all so we have one to five other study they only have one to four but for this example it is until 1 to 5. So how to get this 4.88? So for example, this is the answer of the 26 respondents. So what we are going to do in order to get the 4.88, we will just simply type equals and then type average and then open parenthesis. Then we need to drag from the answer of respondents number one until respondents number 26. Okay, you need to drag or click once and then long press and then scroll down until the respondents, respondents number 26. So it is B2, 
to B27. Okay? B, column B, 2, until B27. And then, close parenthesis, or you will just um, click enter. So, you have 4.88 using the Microsoft Excel. Now, if we will just use the calculator. So, you will just simply add all the respondents first. For example, respondents number 1, 5 plus 5 plus 5, so on and so forth. So, we need to add first. You can use also the Excel um, using the manual. So, you will just type equals sum then open parenthesis same procedure you need to drag from B2 until B27 or respondents number 1 until respondents number 26 and then you will click enter so if we will add all the responses from respondents number 1 until respondents number 26 we have 127 and then we need to divide to the number of respondents so we have the total of 127 divided by 26. So we get 4.88. Okay? Same, 4.88. So we will try again. Equals average open parenthesis. Drag from respondents number 1 until respondents number 26 and then enter so we have 4.88 so we have here item number one 4.88 so we will just do the same process in item number two washing hands before handling food so we will just put all the responses here in the item number two so on and so forth so we have this um, total weighted mean in every item so other question is how to compute the subcomposite mean so we will do the same process so these are the item number one and item number 10 okay so there are 10 items so we also have here 10 items and you will put every weighted mean and every item for example 4.88 okay 4.88 until 4.08 for item number 10 4.08 in the item number 10 so same process equals average open parenthesis drag click enter so you have 4.66 so the subcomposite mean of the food preparation is 4.66. So now, let's proceed to the description. How to determine if it is highly practiced or not practiced or moderately practiced. So we will return to the upper part of this study. So this is page 23 and we will proceed to page 15. So you have ratings in this column. We also have description and interpretation. So it is 4.88. So where is 4.88 belong? It is belong in between of the in between the 4.20 to 5.00. So description is highly practiced. So that's why it is highly practiced. Same also with the other items. Or for example, in subcomposite mean, it is 4.66. So we will find 4.66. It falls on the highly practiced again. Because 4.66 is in between uh, 4.20 to 5.00. Okay, so this is the steps on how to compute the weighted mean and I will give you the one of the important that you need to take note we will go back first to the questionnaire as you can observe here 
items number 1 to items number 10. The first one is towing food to a temperature below room temperature. This is the item number 1 based on the questionnaire. But on the table in the chapter 2, it is not found in item number 1. It is found in item number 8. Again, in chapter 2, it is found in, in item number 8. But in questionnaire, it is found in item number 1. So what we did, we transfer from item number 1 to item number 8. Because we rearrange based on the result of the weighted mean. We start from the highest and we end with the lowest weighted mean. So we need to rearrange the table presentation. Okay? So again, in the questionnaire, it is item number 1. But in the table, it must be in item number 8. It depends on the weighted mean. So we will arrange again from the highest to the lowest. And the major reason for this or the purpose so that when the reader will um, check or read your study, they can easily identify what is the highest weighted mean and what is the lowest weighted mean. So again, this is, uh, this is the steps on how to compute the weighted mean, how to determine the description, and uh, one of the important thing to do is to rearrange based on the weighted mean. We will start with the highest and we will end with the lowest. Thank you.